Dermatophytosis, more commonly known as ringworm and athlete's foot, is a fungal infection of the superficial skin, hair, and nails. The rapidly multiplying fungi cannot live in the deeper layers of the skin and will only survive in the dead keratin layer. There are four general types of these fungal infections and they are named by the area infected. Tinea capitis is a fungal infection of the scalp. The lesions are itchy, scaly patches that often cause areas of alopecia. Tinea capitis can be transmitted from person to person or from animal to person. It is treated with oral or topical antifungals as well as selenium sulfide shampoos. Oral systemic therapy is the recommended treatment as topical antifungals are not always effective in killing the fungus. Tinea corporis is a round, red scaling patch that may involve the nails. This infection is most often transmitted from an animal. Tinea corporis involving the arms, legs, and trunk is also treated with oral and topical antifungals. Treatment should continue for a couple of weeks after the lesions have resolved. Tinea cruris, commonly called jock itch, presents like Tinea corporis, but is in the groin area and is very puritic. It is often seen in adolescents and teens. Tinea cruris is treated with topical tilnafetate, trade name tinactin, along with education about personal hygiene. Tinea pedis, commonly known as athlete's foot, can vary dramatically in appearance from minor peeling of the top layers of the skin to fissuring and vesicles all over the foot. This infection is also very itchy. Athlete's foot most often develops in adolescents, teens, and adults, and is rare in children. Oral and topical antifungals may be prescribed. Prevention of tinea pedis include keeping the feet dry, using absorbent cotton socks during exercise, and wearing shoes that are well ventilated. Despite common beliefs, this is not spread from one individual to another easily. Diagnosis of these fungal infections is through microscopic examination of a scraping of the lesion. You'd provide thorough education to the family about personal hygiene and limiting the sharing of personal belongings during infections. Suggest that the family have any pets examined for fungal infection. Once the symptoms have subsided, the child and the family may find it tempting to stop the treatment. You should stress the importance of completing the entire course of treatment as prescribed to prevent relapse.